Okay, so last episode we beat Birmingham City 4-2 and for a period it looked like we were going to get back into the playoffs and maybe even challenge for automatic promotion. Now I have to remember that I'm the one managing Newcastle United and it was never going to be easy and it's so it proved. So we ended up actually going from 10th to 10th. I know, no improvement whatsoever. Yeah, so after beating Birmingham City, we lost at home to Wigan. I know. Typical proudy right there. But an Albion actually decided that they wanted to have a go at us and they lost 4-0. I mean, Mitrovic and Gale both scored twice and they both scored them within 13 minutes. Unfortunately, the second half was a bit shit. I mean, I even sent on Daryl Murphy and he still couldn't score. I mean, we're not going to see this guy score all season. We drew Sheffield Wednesday away from home 1-1. And it was a game that we really needed to win. And unfortunately, we couldn't get the three points. Uh, I mean, it probably showed when I actually sent on Daryl Murphy for the last seven minutes of the game chasing a winner. That was never going to happen. So with five games left of the season, we're still four points off the playoffs. And we play Leeds United, who are eighth. Which means it's a must win. It's probably the biggest game of the season. Also, it's worth noting that Dwight Gale did break 30 goals this season. I mean, I managed to achieve that at least. I've also found out that we play Leeds United at home. And it's only two days after my birthday. I mean, I can't wait for the present where we take a Leeds and then end up losing 2-1. And then the board decide to sack me the day after. A few days ago, I got a message in my inbox saying that we were actually on course to fail financial fair play. I've never achieved that before, but actually it's changed now because apparently we're going to pass it and we're just about going to pass it. I mean, you're only allowed to lose 15 million in a year. And we're projected to lose 14.33 million. I mean, all that money on Phil Jones has definitely gone to waste. Yeah, I think I can count the title out of our reach as well. We're 11 points behind Norwich. With 15 to play for. It could be a bit tight. Okay, quite a few fixtures were played because it's Good Friday. And now we're down to 11th. It could be a problem. Okay, we're going to be sticking with the 4-3-1-2 formation that we played in the last episode against Birmingham City and won with. Oh, no, actually, we didn't win with that one. No, we won with a different formation, didn't we? But we're going to stick with the 4-3-1-2 anyway. In my quest to find who is the least shit goalkeeper, Cole Darlow starts in goal today. I mean, we're going to keep changing goalkeepers till we find one who actually can keep a clean sheet. In a live com i mean i have got keepers who can keep clean sheets jesus hammers phil jones chancel and bemba and charlie taylor make up the back four lerma malambu and diame make the midfield three now i'm hoping diame does something because i do have a chance for him but i'll sing it anyway if he passes the ball uh, matt ritchie will be playing behind dwight gale and mitrovic who lead the line for us and on the bench we have cells domit yedlin i forgot the rest of the players uh, Shelby, Aarons, Grealish and Murphy and uh, well Leeds United at home we lost to them away from home in the last time we played them in the live com uh, so let's hope we actually do beat them this time I'm kind of hoping for a boring game because my camera battery is flashing up and it's going to die in a minute. Okay, this is now the biggest game of the season. If we win this game, we have a fighting chance of the playoffs. If we don't win this game, I feel like this is just going to be a circle. You know, it's just going to be a circle of shit. Now, I'm going to move the league table even though it's not really a problem. Uh, because there's not really... We can only go as high as 8th. Okay, sorry, we can only go as high as ninth. So, uh, yeah, I don't really need the table. Uh, but Diame plays a, a brilliant ball, uh, actually, up top. And here's Dwight Gale bringing the ball forward. Dwight Gale, Richie! Hello, darkness, my old... He's put it wide. I can't, I can't. Oh, my God, that was the chance. Not really been the most interesting of halves yet again, may I say. Uh, so, great. Well done, boys. Dominating, but we're not winning. Uh, yep. Yeah. Unlucky, unlucky. I, I know you can make the difference. We're going to go a bit more attacking this half. Um, if you heard that, that's uh, my cat who just keeps sleeping on my bed. It's the only, it's the only pussy that's going to be on that bed anyway. <laughs> that was, that was so forced. Okay, we're not really doing anything yet again against Leeds. Um, I mean, Leeds are coming on the attack, but I can't really see them scoring. I mean, look, look that's what I'm saying. Look, Phil Jones has won the ball. Mitrovic plays at the Gale. Gale with 31 goals this season. Can he make it 32? He's laid it off the army. Mitrovic, 1-0. I don't know what's going on. My phone's going off as well. We're up to ninth. Mitrovic. We're going we're gonna to send Jack Grealish on. Uh, I'm going to take off Matt Ritchie. I'm trying to get through this game as fast as possible. And Matt Ritchie plays the ball. And Gale hits a shot. Mbemba. He's hit the bar. Mbemba hits the bar. Oh, God. That, 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 that doesn't even make any sense. 
I mean, I don't know what I was trying to make out of that. Now, if we keep this lead, we will be two points off the playoffs. If we don't, then just end the series now. I mean, there's no way that we're going to get in the playoffs. And, but Gale brings it forward. Mitrovic, surely to kill the game. Grealish, 2-0. This is what I'm talking about. 17 million or whatever he cost me. I mean, he's paying that back. What a player. I mean, Balotelli wasn't even worth that much. And, and Balotelli, why is Balotelli come up all of a sudden? Okay, we're, we're going to send on John Joe Shelby to see how the game. This is what I'm talking about. 2-0 over Leeds. We've got revenge. We're up to ninth. We're two points off the playoffs. Yes. That, that's that's my analysis of the game. Yes. Now, Leeds are coming forward in a, a very rare attack for them. I mean, they, they haven't really offered anything. I think the formation's finally starting to work. Uh, you know, the team is starting to play a bit better. That's probably what I needed, a, a formation. You know, I just need 11 players on the pitch. And actually saying that... There's, they've, they've hit the bar, haven't they? Anyway, saying that, I've not actually had a red card all season. I mean, I've had all 11 players on the pitch, which kind of makes me question, why do I keep getting beaten so often? Especially by teams that have 10 men. Now, I cannot wait for the last episode where I say, we need to win to get into the playoffs, rather than, we're in the playoffs, we don't have to worry about anything other than playing the playoffs. But yeah, I'm happy with that. 2-0 uh, no over Leeds. We're still in the hunt for the playoffs. And we have four games of the season left. So we're going to leave it there. I've got Ipswich, who are 19th. I've got Preston, who are 20th. Cardiff, who are 16th. And Barnsley, who are 22nd. Now, if I bottle this, someone report me to YouTube and just say, I can't take this shit anymore. And you know what's also annoying is that now I'm sick. So I'm trying to actually, you know, be a bit more enthusiastic. Well, I'm not, sorry, I'm not ill. I'm just sick of this shit. If we can get 75 likes, that'd be great. Uh, we'll finish the episode there. Uh, Barnsley at home will be the last episodes. Now, we don't know whether I'm going to get the players. We don't even know what's going to happen. You'll just have to tune in next time. Fingers crossed. I mean, fingers, everyone, fingers crossed. Because Proudy's going to make the playoffs and it's going to be another two episodes of greatness. Or bottling. We're on easy street. And it feels so sweet. Because the world is but a treat.